Hey guys, welcome to VSEX Allization. This is Nestor Adrian Sen. Quick question for you today. Do you know the difference between a dashboard and a report in Power BI? If not, this tutorial is definitely for you, my friend. In addition, I will share six different tips to create awesome dashboards in Power BI. So, are you ready? Let's do this. So before we get into the tips, let's learn more about dashboards, okay? According to Stephen Few, a dashboard is a visual display of the most important information needed to achieve one or more objectives which fits on a single computer screen. So this is critical, my friends. Fits on a single computer screen. So it can be monitor at a glance. See how important it is to learn this definition. So having this as reference, now we are ready to jump into the tips. Let's go to the first point, okay? So the first question that we need to ask ourselves and also our audience is, what are the most relevant KPIs? And we can ask questions like, what are the key metrics that will help and users make decisions, right? How will the dashboard be used, for example? So what learned or cultural assumptions might affect design choices? So what information does your end users need to be successful? Maybe it's profits, right? Maybe sales volume, or perhaps it's cost of goods sold, who knows? So we need to ask these questions, right? After we have the answers, we are ready to build a dashboard. Here, in addition, a dashboard with fewer tiles is more readable, right? So if we have two clutter, so we are also having some issues there. So now let's jump to the next tip. Tell the story at first glance. So here, your end user should get the story quickly. So avoid scroll bars on your dashboards, for example. Like I said before, if your dashboard is too cluttered, remove all the necessary information. Okay, so now let's go to the next point. So make use of full screen mode. So this is a nice tip as well. When you guys are presenting a dashboard, you need to display it in a full screen mode. So avoid any type of distractions. We wanna be focused on the key metrics that the dashboard has. We have an example here as well, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, let's go to the next tip. Highlight the most relevant information. So this is a good one as well. For this particular case, if you guys are seeing the screen here, on the left, so I highlighted total profits, for example. So it's in green, it catches the attention real quick. Among the five cards, total profit is different. So it, it's highlighted, so it's better for your audience. It's better for the end users to read it. So now let's go to the next point. Place the most important information in the upper left corner. Okay, so here remember, in America and also in Europe, most people read from top to bottom. So put the highest level of data at the top left corner and show more details as you move in the direction the audience uses for reading. Also keep it in mind here that for Middle East countries like India, Egypt, for example, so those guys read from right to left. So you might wanna rearrange your visuals according to your audience. So now let's go to the next tip. Use the right visualization for the data. So here, be careful using visuals that look pretty, but are hard to read. And this include 3D charts, right? So as an example, you guys can see on the left, we have 3D charts. This is another good practice. And also on the right, we have just a 2D chart, which is what we recommend. Also remember here, pie charts, donut charts, gauges, and other circular chart types aren't a data visualization best practice. So just as reference here, pie charts are best if they have fewer than eight categories. So what else here? Don't clutter your charts with data levels that are not needed. So this is a good practice as well. So now, guys, we are ready for the case. We are ready for the example. 
So let's do this. So the question that we have here is the following. Create a dashboard in Power BI service. Use as a reference the page details from the Power BI best practices report. So here guys, we're gonna jump into Power BI desktop. We have the report there and then we're gonna publish that report to the cloud. Let's do that. All right, so this is the Power BI report that I have created. And just as reference, I use the data that Microsoft provides. The table, it's called financials. You guys can find it. So every time you open a new file here, so there is an option there to use that data, that table, okay? Remember here, the question was to create a dashboard. Here, we, we already created this report. So what I'm gonna do next is publish it. So let's do that. So let's go to publish here, save the changes. So now we need to select the workspace, right? So for this particular case, I'm gonna select this workspace called Power BI Best Practices and then select. So there is already a report with the same name. So I'm gonna replace it. So it's publishing now. So remember that we are publishing this report to the cloud to Power BI service here. So it's thinking, success, got it. So now let's go to Power BI service. All right, so here we are in Power BI service and we already published the report, right? It's called Power BI best practices to create dashboards. So we are here in the Power BI best practices workspace and now we have the report here and here also we have the data set. So the next thing that we wanna do is open the report. So let's do that. So it's loading. There you go. So remember the question was create a dashboard based on the details page. So this particular report has three different pages and we're gonna select details. So the dashboard that we're gonna create is based on this page. So let's hide this. So before we do that, remember, in order to create dashboards in Power BI service, we can use different tiles, right? Different visuals from different reports. And then we can create a dashboard. But for this particular case, what we're doing is we are using as reference just the whole page, the whole report page called details. So let's do that. So here we're gonna select edit and then pin to a dashboard. So let's name this as Power BI Best Practices, okay? All right, so let's pin live this and let's see what happens. So now go to dashboard here. There you go, see? So that's the dashboard that we just created. So like I said before, if we wanna see this better, so we can go to this option right here called open in full screen mode and let's see what happens. Check this out. There you go, see? So we have there the dashboard that we just created. So what else? If you wanna print it, you can do that as well. Check this out. So it's loading, there you go. So you can print it and you can share it with your team members. So that's how it works, my friends. So let's cancel this. So another good practice here, and this is just preferences, okay? So I like to have white or light backgrounds because it's more readable for me. And also if I wanna print it, so the audience can easily read it, right? So if I print the dashboard black and white, it's also better if we have a white or light background. But some people prefer using dark backgrounds, which is fine as long as it works, that would be totally fine, okay? All right, so now let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you, guys, and see you in my next tutorial.